Oh. <laughs> Kelda, Tinnacle 2. Hello. And welcome back to another episode of Thorncraft 4.2 with Bertross. And that is one of the downsides to a zombie spawner because what happens is that those guys can basically wreck your den. I've just noticed that wall right there is open. Hold on, let's get into there. Uh, so I modified this thing a little bit to deal with babies. Uh, I've put the uh, lava right there and I've also I put a half slab here normally but that there is probably helping them get out. So the problem with the zombies is that they'll spawn buddies much like this guy right here so and they'll come and sneak up on you. We're level 30 now but instead of doing a level 30 enchant protection too, not too bad. Hey! Where are you guys coming from? <laughs> where are they coming from? I need to seal this place off so that they can't spawn. Anyway, we picked up two uncommon treasures here from dudes that came out of the spawner. Ooh, an enderpearl. Emeralds, gold. Those are all very nice things. So let's get back to the base. So we want to start off the episode by uh, throwing these levels inside of one of our foci. Uh, the next level for both of the foci, the excavation shock focus, was level 24. And we have that now. So I want to sink the levels into one or the other. Let's just take a brief recap of what each one level 3 is, and we'll decide which one's better. Man, an enderpearl. Those are so cool. <laughs> one more for the fire. So, uh, let's get the shock focus off here. Yeah, my, uh, the magic pouch thing, the focus pouch disappeared on me. I think, uh, baubles. The, the baubles inventory. Something weird happened with that. I no longer trust baubles, basically. So, chain lightning. This upgrade reduces the speed at which the focus fires bolts, but the damage is increased, and it can hit two additional targets, Earth Shock. Instead of a bolt of lightning, the focus now lobs a ball of electrical energy, and inflicts damage in an area around where it hits, and leaves the ground dangerously electrified for some time. So the two of these, Chain Lightning's probably a bit better for me anyway, because I like Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning sounds cool, and then we've got the Excavation Focus, which is also level 2. Its special ability is a treasure. So it's like uh, fortune eluding. I knew you were coming. Hey, get that thing on. <laughs> Where are they coming from? You're not supposed to be able to get in here. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this upgrade gives the excavation focus a small chance to mine native clusters instead of normal ores. These clusters usually give double the number of ingots when smelted. Right, so of the two of these, I'll probably say I want to go, that I want to go for the shock focus a little bit more. I've been very eager to try out the chain lightning, and if we can dash out of just a little bit more damage, then I think we'll uh, be uh, better at facing adversaries. So, level 24 on that guy. It's actually quite cheap. Yeah, that's going to cost way more, but this is quite cheap, and it's more functional. Okay, but that's going to take a little bit of time to sort out. Let's just quickly sort the inventory out while we're doing that. Is this thing still going? Nope, it's finished. So now it has chain lightning on there. Very cool. So it's picked up in large. How large an area the focus's power effect or affects the number of targets affected. Alright, so more targets can be affected by the chain lightning, which is probably the best thing. Hmm. Or we could do more damage. More damage might be interesting, or hitting more targets is it's especially useful for attacking multiple targets at the same time. But that's going to require another 32 levels. So now that it has Chain Lightning on there, it doesn't actually look any different. It, it's just got special buffs on there. It is night time, so we can quickly test this thing out. Let's, let's eat some steak as well. It's not completely insane. There we go. No jump boost. No speed. That's okay. Oh, and I chopped down the rest of the Great Wood Tree with this axe of the stream, by the way. Okay, that still fires bolts fast enough uh, for me, anyway. So what is the difference in speed? Yeah, that's about... That's actually a better speed to use, to be honest, because uh, when, the, when you damage the monsters and they glow red for a bit, they actually are a little bit immune. So that actually works better <laughs> with the longer charge time. It means I can just hold the mouse down instead of having to repeatedly click, which is really handy, to be honest. 
zombie villager. Not today, Buster. I don't think I've ever resuscitated a zombie villager into an actual villager before. Which is something that we can use the zombie spawner for as well if we want. Okay, but that appears to be pretty much it. Already up to level 9. So that was a... Uh, it was a nice little test, unfortunately. We didn't get to try the chain lightning because nobody's together. Oh, but it looks like uh, this focus now actually... Yeah, it looks like you can see there it's got a little tab on the uh, aqua pool reserve there now as well. So it uses aqua and air. So I guess with more enchantments that you throw on these foci, uh, the more this that it uses. Hmm, very interesting. So today as well, another cool thing that we need to do to get the AFK XP farm up and running is craft ourselves a brain in a jar. That is going to require two spider eyes, a zombie brain, a water jar, a water bucket, 10 Cognitia, 20 Exanimus, and 10 Census. I already have the Exanimus ready to go. I was doing some wisp uh, grinding to get that. But we're going to need to work out what has Census and Cognitio inside it. I do recall some pretty nifty aspects or things to burn that would use that. Okay, we could do brains in a jar, but paper is probably a little bit cheaper. And for the census, if we take a look through, what do we got that's got a decent number of that? That we can burn up. Glowstone could be good. Spider eyes, probably a little bit better. Glowstone's quite valuable. So how many spider eyes do I have? They each have two senses inside them, as well as bestia and venom. Okay, we're going to need 10. So if I grab about 12 or so, probably best, and about... Now what was what did I save for the other one? Paper, if I recall. I don't really have any paper in here at the moment. That just has a single piece of cognitia. Okay. So we're going to need about... get. 11 of those as well. Actually, you have to make them in threes, so let's get 12. And we'll probably just end up using 11, to be honest. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. So that's all that stuff good to go. And yeah, that should pretty much be everything that we need. We're going to need a little few more spider eyes for the actual inf infusion crafting, of course. I don't stack them like that. Uh, let's see, we're going to make the uh, water jar. In goes the venom. Out of that little recipe. Total of 40 venom now, which is really nice. We've got some bestia here as well that we've sort of made as a byproduct. Oh, well, that's a garage door. Oh, man. It's kind of like Kurt J. Mack in his old house. Anyway, let's see, we've got that, that. Let's get the census out with much needed. What was it? It has to be nice blue. <laughs> It'd be kind of nice to actually color coordinate these awarded jars. I was sort of thinking of doing it alphabetically, but you know, that's kind of it's kind of boring. It's kind of what you'd expect. I think it'd be kind of actually a little bit more fun to sort of do uh, like a rainbow. Yeah. Not sure what you do with brown. Oh dear, it looks like... Uh, oh, okay, this is open. Thanks for telling me that. Here we go. You may now filter in the cog le cognitio. Let's get there. What? 40 venom. 13 of that. A bunch of that. That's all that good to go. So let's put the venom back. Oh. I've actually been storing the keep storing these just like the way that it is. I just keep packing them on. I do have a way that I actually want to organize these. I've done a bit of work off camera. Okay, you. And you. And I guess we'll just bonk it there. I'm too lazy to mine the rest of that out. So that's all of the aspects that we need. Now what we need to do is throw the materials into the table itself. And an eye over here. And there should be one of these in the middle, if I'm not mistaken. So I've got 13 Cognitio, 26 Census, and 22 Exanimus. There's enough materials to go ahead and craft this guy up. It's going to be a moderate, so we should expect to see a little bit of hiccups or two. The odd hiccup or two, rather. 
I, I can see all four of those from here, so let's go. And the recipe works straight off the bat, so good start. Now I just like seeing... Oh, okay, we've lost a spider eye. That's good. That's our hiccup for the recipe, possibly. We may experience another. It's going around this way by the looks. I didn't have a water bucket handy on my hot bar, so it's quite good that that was that. Oh, hey! Oh, hello. I have gained some warp as a result of that. That's not good. Now, I don't know if that generated any flux. I might have to review the footage to see if that did that, but the flux scrubbers appear to have done their job, if they did it. And that is now gone. But I noticed that it only took the water and not the actual iron of the bucket, which is kind of nice. Thanks. Thanks, game. Protection 3 on Breaking 3. Where did that come from? That's really nice. I may even wear that. So... But okay, that's beside the point, because now we have a brain in a jar. Now, so these things are, the way it's sort of explained to you in the Thormonomicon is that these guys can hold basically the XP. So it's like a little portable XP thing. The idea is that you stick it next to something like this. Let's go ahead and throw in this stack of butch, birch wood, rather. But, butch wood? <laughs> yeah, it's nice and butch. I've got a ton of this now thanks to the golems, as well as my own chopping. I've got a you know, good good couple of stacks stored up. I don't think it makes uh, charcoal nuggets or anything like that. Oh, I remember that little fun uh, feature from a Thumbcraft 2. The brain inside actually has little eyes on it and it'll follow the player, which is kind of cool. I can see you. So they're quite a nice decoration. They do they do give you warp when you make them, so you don't really want to make too many of them, because warp's not a nice thing. How is this doing? It's about halfway. Did you pick up any XP? How do you work? There you go, so you right click it, okay, and it releases its XP, I see. So does that mean I have to sort of do that? I think so. So the idea is basically the idea is you funnel the wood that comes out of your wood farm into an infernal furnace and in addition to whatever is crafted you get little XP orbs that come out the brain in a jar will suck them up so all you have to do is just be in the world somewhere safe be, a be AFK, you can come back and this will, have, uh, this will have picked up some XP for you that you can just right click and pick up like that so that generated about one level and it looks like it's making a few dodgy noises as well. <laughs> yeah, that is the brain in a jar in a nutshell. Uh, uh, the people in the comments were telling me that it can hold uh, 40 levels. 40 levels is the magic number there. Which is quite good actually because uh, 40 I believe is the maximum that your that the focal manipulator can have. Uh, you know, the tier 5. Tier 5 costs 40 levels so uh, one of these is pretty much going to sort us out. Although that person said it was going to be 80. Not sure where they got their information from. Uh, I saw on YouTube someone was doing tier 5 stuff and it was costing 40. But we'll have to see if rank 4 costs... Uh, no, we did see rank 4. It was costing 32 levels. So it goes up in increments of 8. So pretty sure that the last one's level 40. Right then. So that's that... <laughs> the episode done and dusted. I think I want to do a little bit more work here to get some actual research done. It's been a while since I did some full-on research with the scribing tools and paper, and I'm feeling the itch. Definitely feeling the itch. Not sure what I want to research today either. We might just do a bit of potluck. Okay, we've got a few things to do here. Warded Arcana, Golem Iron Plating, Arcane Ear, and those things we've already got. So maybe we could do something else. Oh, that's right. For the, the whole of growth, uh, I was talking last time about how uh, the problem with the XP farm right now, the only real issue is that uh, the trees aren't getting replanted automatically. So if we could... My thinking is because the axe of the stream unlocked a uh, wood chopping mine, I'm thinking that by doing one of these other things, we might actually... 
it might give us access to another golem animation core is what I think. Probably somewhere up here or something, I don't know. So I'm thinking the hoe of growth is our best bet to get started with that. And this is also going to be following my new challenge of only using one type of aspect per research. So we've got Messus, Victus and Instrumentum up here. Let's see, Mrs. has Herba and Humanus, and we know that that goes to Humanus, so there's a potential for Humanus to be sort of right here, or not really because, okay, because, oh, this goes straight to Humanus itself, <laughs> so that doesn't really work out all that well, actually, so, but Victus, on the other hand, ha is made of Aqua and Terra, if I'm not mistaken, yes, da. So what we can do, we can do a little bit of a trick here. We can use Limus again because we learned about that last time. So we could do something like Limus, Aqua. Or maybe we should go Terra because that might be a little bit closer to Instrumentum. Yeah, we can go something like Auto, Vitreus, Terra. Okay, that's going to be one short. Hmm. Maybe we, maybe there's something that requires Aqua and Terra. I don't, oh, that's right, it's, it's Victus itself, so Victus is already used, we can't do that. Okay, well we're going to need to extend this out as much as possible then, so we'll have to go, let's go Limus, then we'll go Aqua, where is Aqua? Here it is, it's way over here, do something like this, and then I think we'll have to go... So what is Messus? Messus is Herba, so that's not too bad actually. So we can probably go something like Herba, connect that there. I'm thinking of bringing it down Aya most likely, because we can go Herba, Arba. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Arba, Aya, Motus, Auto. That's probably our best bet. Let's try that. So Arba. Well, maybe I want to do it over here. Just to give this a little bit more space. No, this should be okay. So we'll go here like this. Like this. Modus over here. Oh, shift click rather than... What was I doing? Z click. That doesn't work. Auto. Okay, so this is this connected up, which looks mighty fine. Now we need to bring this over here. So I'm thinking we can go through Vitreus somehow. We're kind of stuck in Aqua right now. Maybe we can get rid of the Limus somehow. Well, let's look around for something that uses Aqua. We might have to reevaluate some Limus right there. Natalum is a potential candidate here, actually. We could go... Oh, okay, here we go. This is perfect, actually. We can go... We could go Vitreus. We could go... Yeah, we can go Vitreus. Uh, Metallum. Vitreus Metallum Terra. So what is Limus? Okay. Hmm. Okay, I th well, we're close. We're, we're very close, guys. Uh, okay, so this is made of Terra. Right. Hmm. Okay. I thought Metallum was going to be our saving grace here, but maybe not quite. Let's have a look around still. Hmm. Okay, we could go Sano. Hmm. Oh, but we've already used Auto, though. That's the thing. Oh, that Chris and Lux. Oh, here we go. Tempestus. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. We can go... We can actually go redirect up here. We can go... Get rid of that Aqua. We can put Tempestus there. This, this works out actually really nicely, so... There's Tempestus, right here, there we go, that looks really nice, that's actually way more efficient than last time, I realised last time I actually sort of, I could have just connected Mortuus straight to Victus, but instead I sort of went through Auto and uh, Permutatio and Pedicio, and I could have just connected Mortuus to Victus and that would have been it, but anyway, this one is much nicer, I actually really like this, it's really, that's a really good one, that was really good. So let's have a look at the of growth and here we go by merging the magical energy from order and entropy shards with the thormium hoe you've created a farming implement 
with few equals. When used to till fields, it will till a 3 by 3 area instead of just a single block. When used to crop, when used to crops, when used, what? I, I, that doesn't even make sense as an oh come on. When used to crops or other plants, it will act as bone meal to promote its growth. Okay, though at a higher cost of it to its durability, it might even be able to grow plants that normal bone meal can't. Ooh, okay. We'll have to experiment then, won't we? If shift is held while using this tool, all its special properties are suspended and it functions like a normal hoe. Okay, so that requires 8 herba, 8 meto, and 8 taro, as well as a diamond, entropy shard, water shard, a great wood log, and of course, a tholmium hoe. So again, this is relatively cheap. I, it's pretty straightforward for me to get all of these, and I've got a ridiculous amount of herba. <laughs> but I'm thinking... Maybe this has done something over here for us? Possibly no. That was not the right tool. Hmm. Guarding my valuables, filling my valuables, filling my valuables, if only. <laughs> well, I think I want to do uh, one other thing today. Maybe it could be fortress armor. I've sort of been waiting for a decent reason to do that. Hmm. Yeah, we've still got a few miscellaneous things up here, but maybe it could getting a bone, a, a bow upgrade, but we don't really use the bow too much. It's not really useful to us, but what would be useful to us, I think, would be the, uh, one of these lamps over here. Lamp of fertility, or the lamp of growth. Probably the lamp of growth sounds like what we want. Green for grass, as well as other green things. And that's a, a very green research note here. Very happy, healthy, photosynthetic, you might say. Oh man, so we've got Messus, Victus, Herba, and Lux down here. Righto. I guess we're going to have to try and get started. So we've got Humanus right there, which we will have to use on Messus by the looks for, because we already have Herba down here. We also have Victus, but we already learned about how to connect those together. Just do that. And then we get aqua and then we can put herba right here uh so how did i do this last time all right so then well that can go through victus can't it so uh oh no okay we can go arbor okay, we already have victus on the board so we can't do that so we go arbor a tempestus tempestus will probably have to go here like so very cool. And then we'll probably have to go through here. Now, how am I going to connect those together? I know that this Lux can go Ignis, basically. We will have to use Ignis because we've already used Aya. This might get a little bit difficult. So we have to go Humanus here. Cognitia or Bestia. Let's have a look. Okay, you use Modus. And you use, okay, here we go. This could be something. So this is made of Ignis, so we could go, we could go Ignis, we could go, we could go Cognitio, and then Humanus right there, and that would connect those two together. So what was my magic aspect here? Cognitio, and then Humanus. Do I want to put it there? It doesn't really matter either way for us at the moment. I just want to see if I can work out how to connect these together. So, a Cognatio can go Spiritus. So we, we can definitely get it out. And then that, that can go Mortuous. Because we're already using Victus. So we can go Mortuous and then we could go Pedicio. So, do we even have enough space to do this? We can do it because we can go Vacuous. We can do something like Vacuous, Pedicio. Let's just check the vacuous is like that. Yes, yeah, so we can go vacuous, pedicio, and then from there, uh, mortuous, spiritus. Oh my goodness. What was I doing? Cognitio, right? Yeah. Okay, so spiritus, mortuous. Yeah, okay, I think we got it. Spiritus, Spiritus, Spiritus. Yeah, we got this in the bag. Good news, we won. <laughs> okay, we can use just still one aspect, but it's a little bit more tricky. 
but it is possible. It is at least possible, so let's go... Where was I suppose my starting point? Spiritus. Spiritus over here. Like so. Mortuous. Perdicio. And vacuous. <laughs> Gets a little bit cramped in there. Look at that line, it's like <laughs> But there we go, we eventually did get it. The lamp of growth. Encouraging things to grow. So when we take a look at this guy, what on earth does this thing say? I imagine that's just gonna make things grow faster. Probably. Unlike the arcane lamp from which it is made, the lamp of growth does not cast much light unless it is provided with herba essentia. If this is done, any plants which grow where its light shines or the brightest will grow much faster than normal. Essentia can be fed to the lamp by attaching it directly to an essentia piping system. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh, well, that's a good way to use up a lot of the excess herba that we're generating. Thanks, Azanor. It's going to require Victus, Lux, and Herbido to make. I'm not sure what I know that has Victus inside it. But there we go, the recipe for it is two gold ingots, two bone meal, and two earth shards, and that'll get you to the arcane lamp. So it's uh, it's a bit of a tricky setup time, but once you've got it, you've got a pretty powerful tool right there. Well, if I didn't know any better, then I would say that the... The episode's going to be quite hard to edit, mainly because there have been a lot of audio issues. Uh, sort of basically people moving around in the house when they're not supposed to. So, been making a lot of different noises, so uh, things have calmed down a bit now. So hopefully I should be able to uh, finish off the episode here a little bit better. I'm sorry, <laughs> basically. Uh, I do like to try and produce the highest quality content possible, especially now that... Uh, this series has such a large reach. I was wondering what was going to happen when you broke that. You just you just get it all back. Yeah, we don't have very much time left in the episode, so my plan is to just move everything up to the to where the new base is going to be. So let's just get these, get these, and I've got a bunch of rings in here, but I don't trust my baubles inventory at all, and I haven't scanned those at all, so. We'll just go ahead and leave that there for now. Let's move these up there. Whoop! <laughs> That's actually a really fun little tool to use when it's uh, big being propped up like that. Right, so... Um, so basically, we have uh, four different parts here. We've got that... This, whoop, whoop, yeah, there we go. This one goes out to the entrance, so these other four need to have some sort of function. One of them is going to be for the arcane the arcane work table, I guess it could be that one. So I guess we'll go ahead and pick this one as our main research thing. Now the problem is that this is even, the, oh, the table is made of two blocks and that is made of three, so I guess we'll just go ahead and bonk that down like that. Let's do that. And the deconstruction table, because that's related to research as well, that can be around here somewhere. So this is going to be some sort of separate little island made out of blocks as well that'll be floating. It'll look kind of cool. And I don't have a chest handy, so let's just quickly get one. Okay. I'll make it a double chest too, because I'm fancy like that. Oh dear. <laughs> I can tell all this episode's just sort of I know I knew that I didn't have enough material to finish off the episode, so I just needed to quickly come in here and finish it off. Let's put those three in there. Our wand collection over here. Well, this one's not completely full. I don't like them when they're not completely full. You guys over here. And that is pretty much good to go. I think we'll just finish off with a few extra special things. I guess we will scan these guys while I'm on the scanning spree. I've got these uh, foci I don't think I've scanned. No. So that has three Lucrim, two Auto, Potentia that I can't read, three Precantage of ten Terra, nine Vitrias, very cool. And it's also needing to scan this guy and that guy. So the Iron Cap Wooden Wand has 
Instrumentum, Metallum, and Pregantatia. So if I wanted to get some extra stuff out of there, yeah. Two Instrumentum and three Pregantatia in there, no Lucrum. Kind of a kind of a bit of a bonus freebie there, having that Metallum in there. It's a little bit on game. As an all, what are you trying to do? <laughs> oh well, but yeah, that's probably going to be it for this episode of Thorncraft with Betros. It's not quite as high quality. Oh, hello. That's what it looks like when you hold it. It's not been quite as high quality as episodes uh, have been recently. A lot of people have been really enjoying sort of the uh, the higher quality, basically, uh, thanks to the new editing techniques that I have with uh, Camtasia and whatnot. So, yeah. So the, the, the audio and visual quality is pretty much uh, on point. But in terms of actual episode content, not that great. But I hope that you guys can forgive me for today. I want to get something out. At least I want to get something out for tomorrow. Better than better than nothing. I was considering flagging it away, but nah, we're good. We're good. We'll try and get this out for tomorrow. So, thank you very much for watching. Kia and I'll see you in the next video.